mine it's Ethany and it's First Impressions Friday on my channel and this week I have for you the Pathfinder Oracle. Now I know this looks like just like a, a cloth bag or a cloth bundle. Um, I just wanted to show a couple of things. So I actually backed this one on Kickstarter um, and this is, I have the Wooden Tarot. I actually think I have all of, I do, I have all of the, um, the decks uh, by this incredible artist. So I got a lot of stuff in here again. So we have the, oh, I got the mini Pathfinder Oracle deck too. I backed like the, 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 um, the, the most you could get. <laughs> Don't mind me. Whoop. Um, I got the yes, no coin. Absolutely what you came here for. Me flicking a coin. Yes, no. I have another one of these, I believe, from another deck. No, sorry. There you go. The mini. Do, do, do. I have the reading cloth. I might give some reading cloths away because I have got more reading cloths than I know what to do with, to be honest. It's very nice. So, I have a reading cloth. Then we have the little guidebook. So, it came outside of the box. Um, so, we're going to have a look through that. And the Pathfinder Oracle, whoop, which, oh my gosh, let's get that. There we go. The Pathfinder Oracle, which I really loved the fact that it was square. So it's a 48 card deck, diamond shaped oracle. Oh, I'm so excited. The artwork that um, Andy does is just, they are very, very talented, um, which is one of the reasons why I own every single one of their decks. So that's the website Skull Garden. If you ever want to buy or support the uh, creators of any of the decks that I review and unbox, you can find the information in the description below. All right, treasures, let's swap over that camera and dig into this deck. Okay, so now we're going to go through the Pathfinder Oracle deck. And as I mentioned, I got this back, well, this is what I, the back level that I got from Kickstarter. So I have the regular Pathfinder Oracle and I have the mini. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to unbox both of them at the same time. Hopefully they're in the same order. If not, hilarity could ensue. The guidebook. And this is from Skull Garden which is really cute, Andy. So I have all of Andy's work and a reading cloth, which is lovely. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the cloth off the screen and we're gonna go through the deck. I just took the, uh, what's it called? shrink wrap off because no one needs to see me fighting with shrink wrap and believe me fight I do fight I do have a bit of trouble with it oh this is super cute oh it's adorable so the mini comes in a little tuck box Okay, the backs are the same. So we have the Pathfinder Oracle is a 48 card diamond shaped deck. Each card has four meanings depending on which corner faces upward in a reading, positive, negative, active and passive. A guidebook is included with all 192 possible readings. Woo! This deck is for bold seekers who aren't afraid to get their claws dirty or sand in their shoes. Let's me that Dido song. I still got sand. In my shoes, and I can't shake the thought of you. Um, was David Boronaris? Oh no, that was the other one. Was in the, the video clip. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, the, yes, the designs are the same, and it looks like the card thickness is the same because they are sitting exactly level on my table here. And hopefully, I don't blink and knock the tripod. We all know how good I am at that. Ha ha ha, sexes. So we have UFO. In the mini, as you can see here, we don't have, uh, we just have the symbols. We don't have the title. 
all the extra information, like the extra, sorry, geo, geometrical, <laughs> geometrical, oh my stars, uh, pattern, um, but the artwork is the same. This one also looks a little darker, uh, but that could just be because there's more of the light on this as well. It is 330 GSM cardstock. It's not gilded. It is beautiful. So that is a UFO. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. It's not going to let me do it, everybody. So I'm just going to do the full, the full version of it so you get to see the actual lovely artwork. Cosmic Egg. I thought I was onto a winner <laughs> and then it all fell apart from there. Mouse. I love Andy's artwork. I always, always have Coyote or Coyote. I say Coyote. Quill. So beautiful. Very, very talented individual snake. I love the color palette of the, the blues and the blacks with this orangey yellow and maroony colors. I think it's such a gorgeous color palette, sun. Whale, love whales. Tower, it's a very cool looking tower. Snow, you know nothing, John Snow. I know, a little silly, but can't help it. Uh, sheep, so pretty. Famine, so we have animals and also symbols seed but obviously it's its own system here which oracle decks often are raven it's gorgeous that would be a very cool tattoo boulder bat oh so cute Three-eyed bat. Bridge. I love these landscapes that are very reminiscent of like Death Valley and Utah, um, those sorts of areas. Cicada. I've never been to Death Valley. I really would really love to go. I have been to the Grand Canyon and that was pretty spectacular. Flower. That was quite the color departure, hey? It was like whoop, whoop. Yeah, really gorgeous. Tree. You can see there's so much detail in this artwork. Really a stunning tortoise. Looks like a mountain. It's tortoise shell. Shell. <clears throat> Speaking of shells, have I got a shell for you? Storm. Cat. Oh, it looks like the mountains are clouds. That's really cool. Canyon. It's really rad how the image changes with some of these. Like the perspectives in this deck are not something that I've seen uh, before. Fox, which I think is one of the cool things about it being a diamond. Now there is a tarot, there is a Russian deck that does the same thing. There's also the dragon, oh, diamond dragon tarot, I believe, that does the same thing with the diamond and you link it up. Flood. So 
I have seen this sort of design before, but I like the perspectives that Angie has put in the cards. Cup. Wash your hands, everybody. <laughs> Fruit. Very dubious about mushrooms. Mountain, like I've never gone mushroom foraging and eaten mushrooms that I've gotten because I'd be like, yeah, I don't wanna eat anything poisonous. Prism. Very cool. Oh, gorgeous. Road is so pretty. It's gorgeous colors. Time. Sky. I don't know if anybody else does like cloud divination where you go and look at shapes in the clouds, but that'd be a fun one to do. Fire. Same with this one, you can see like images in the clouds or in the <clears throat> in the negative space. I love the actual texture as well. It looks like there's like a texture on it. Moon. Home. Oh. Moth. Desert. Goal. Oh my gosh, it's like a waypoint in a in a video game when you have the waypoint that goes in. I like that. I'm a gamer. <laughs> Hawk. Oh, interesting. So interesting, hey? Very pretty. Little unsettling. <laughs> uh, door. Cosmos, that's another beautiful one. But purple is my favorite color, so. Oh, companion. It's a kangaroo deer emu thing. And I am 100% here for it. <laughs> Bison. Now, for those of you who have never seen Andy's work, the eyes are very um, like classic, <laughs> classic skull garden, classic, uh, a beautiful design element that's very unique to Andy's work. Cave and beetle, and that is the box image you can see in the background there. Just going to quickly, so we have show you the little mini deck. So exactly the same images. Companion, cosmic egg, cosmos, coyote, cup, desert, doorway, fire, waves, flower, fox. I think I'm doing this right. Fruit, <laughs> waypoint, <laughs> goal. Hawk, home, key, moon, moth, mountain. So you can, you can, um, it, that was the first time I've ever seen all those cards and I can still remember most of them through visual connection. Shuffling a little deck. I always riffle, like I always shuffle like this, not riffle, shuffle. So that's how I shuffle smaller cards. It's also how I shuffle really, really large cards or round cards. Shuffling square cards. Let's see if I can give this a crack. <clears throat> I usually do that from corner to corner. It's the same thing I do with my regular tarot deck. So these are about the size of a coaster. Um, that's a very technical term there, by the way. It's an absolute measurement of size. They are about the size of a coaster. They're a, a nice size to handle. So the idea being, you know, you would lay out more than one um, when you do the reading. So I'm just going to lay out two. 
so tower, I guess it was more like that, and whale, upside down. <clears throat> so let's see what we can get from the guidebook. So here's the guidebook. It goes straight into it. So we got nothing. <laughs> nothing here at all. Interesting. So positive is actually the black of the moon and negative is the what would look like the full moon. So whale, reconnect with a member of your pod with whom you've lost contact. Your song can travel across vast distances. So don't let old riffs keep you from reconnecting. Okay, and the tower, it's in alphabetical order. It isn't easy to forget that not everyone shares the privilege of your views. Express your observations and opinions carefully to help others understand your point of view. What goes up also must come down. And they, that really goes together. So I would read, even though I read that from right to left, I would read it from left to right. Uh, I just didn't. <laughs> I got the meanings. So that would be, you know, maybe there was a disagreement and to reach out and see if you can patch things up. I actually haven't had a disagreement with anyone lately. So I've been in quarantine like everybody else or lockdown or whatever you want to call it, social distancing. Um, so here you have the positive for every card. You have the positive, negative, active and passive. So if we turned that to, what's this one? Passive. And we had a look then at the tower. Actually, let's pick a new card. And we looked at, okay, so canyon and whale. We look forward to working with this. Because this looks really, really interesting. So canyon and passive. If a problem is unmovable, you must adapt yourself to move around it. Follow the light from the other side if you lose your way. And then reconnecting. So interesting. So maybe recognizing that some people's opinions are just like you can't change other people's opinions. But if we move it to active, not all canyons are grand, yet you can, can't help but compare yourself to others whom you feel have more accomplishment. Every canyon starts with persistence and perseverance. Your path will be different, so stay on course. So maybe that's like comparison stuff coming up and the reason why maybe that person that I'm magically doing a reading for has not reached out to this person the whale is asking you to. It's really cool. I love that a lot. This is a really, really awesome uh, deck. I love everything to do with the skull, um, uh, skull garden anyway. Um, and the artwork is amazing. I'm going to be using this in Oracle Wednesday coming up soon so you can see further how this works. I will pop a link in the description box below where you can go and support Skull Garden and Andy. And as always, um, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to watch more videos, I've got quite a number of unboxings. So I hope you enjoy.